I love Thank the embroidery. Thank you. No, this is. Um, oh my gosh, it's brilliant. It's a, a, a company that I, I, I discovered, a woman named uh, Larissa Von Planta, uh, a designer who has um, put together like this incredible sustainable fashion thing where she she's basically upcycling clothes right so you take clothes send them over to um, LVPX they send them to Beirut to this group of um, Lebanese uh, Syrian refugee and Palestinian refugee women who do this hand cross stitching upcycle your clothes it keeps them doing the thing that they love to do it helps put food on their table and it becomes a sustainable way to like use fashion um, to actually do some good. So I, when I when I saw what she was doing, I was like, oh, I want in. Um, we sent this suit over and it came back like this and I'm just like completely blown away. I mean, look at the, Oh my gosh. Like, Thomas, you are a sustainable king. I love <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, man. They put the, uh, the Arabic uh, calligraphy of Amanda and I's um, charity on the back here in the middle of my back. Uh, it's just, the whole thing is just it's Wait. incredible. I'm 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 really blown away by it. And I'm proud to be wearing it. Okay, let's talk about the film. You yeah. are honoring real life people in what many consider the forgotten war. What do you hope people would remember about this film? That it's a true story and that these people actually did uh, give the ultimate sacrifice. They made the ultimate sacrifice, and that uh, what we want to ultimately have people take away from this is that Jesse is still there. We want to bring Jesse home. We want to play some small part in making sure that we can bring Jesse back home. Tom Hudner fought his entire life to, to, to get him back and we're carrying on his legacy um, by helping folks learn about this story, learn about the incredible man that was Jesse Brown and the incredible love between um, two best friends and, uh, and the Brown family. I have to say, such a beautiful portrayal of Jesse Brown. He seemed like such a warm, sweet, amazing man and was so romantic with his wife, Daisy. So I have to ask you, what is the most romantic thing you've done for Amanda? I make wicked good macaroni and cheese for her whenever she wants. Can I say that is the most romantic thing? Because every Valentine's Day, that's what my husband and I make, mac and cheese. I'm telling you, man. like it don't... It's panty dropping, okay? Listen, you cannot... You cannot underestimate the power of a good, properly made box of macaroni and cheese. And I'm talking like, I do it. I have like a whole secret way that I go about doing it. She loves it. We throw on Dateline, kick our feet up, do some true crimes, macaroni and cheese. And for, a parent, for parents of two children, that is romance. Okay, let me ask you this. Who gets away with more, you or Finn? Finn? <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding? I, I know exactly where I fit in in the hierarchy at home. I, I, I know that at the top is Finn, right equal with Finn is Nathan, our son, and then somewhere down the line after Gus the donkey, Herman the horse, like a couple of the other critters, like I fall in somewhere down in there. I, I'm very well aware of how of my place in the world, yeah. So Joe's character, he says that he looks like a Frank Sinatra and that's how he would pick up women. In real life, he picked up his wife Sophie by saying, you know, he looks like a George Clooney. Like people would tell him that he looks like real life George Clooney. Uh, I don't think that's how he picked up Sophie, but he at least told I her on the first so. day. On the first day, he's like, I get George Clooney. So would you say Joe is more of a Sinatra or a Clooney? You know. Here's the problem. It's like, let's be completely honest, right? Joe BH, Jonas. you can BH here. Like, Joe Jonas, unbelievably handsome, right? Brilliantly talented, sweetest human being you ever want to meet. And like, Joe Jonas is a cool name. Like, you, you can't have all of it at the same time. He's kind of a prick because like, it's such a selfish thing to have a cool name, to be super handsome, to be super talented, to be really cool, yeah. to be a great dude, to be married to a really cool woman, to have like this amazing heart and this amazing family that everybody loves. And it's like, dude, would you just <laughs> off? Like just save some for the rest of us. Yeah. I don't know who Joe looks more like. I can't get over looking at Joe. That was the most beautiful fanboy moment I've ever seen. And I, I hate love that guy. Great guy, great guy. Okay, before I let you go, I have to say, I was a really big fan of The Dropout, and I wanted to know what Amanda's reaction was when she heard Jennifer Lawrence say she will not play Elizabeth Holmes because Amanda killed it. Listen, I know that um, Amanda has nothing but respect and love for, for Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, who couldn't? Um, she's incredible. I, I sort of remember something like that coming through, that there was a mention of it, that it was just sort of like one of those moments of like, 
God, that really means a lot to me. And then it was like, oh yeah, the donkey needs to be fed, and like the horse, and, and, and like, we gotta, gotta change go. a diaper, and it was, you know oh what I mean? God, but, I get yeah. it. I yeah. get it. Well, good luck. Have so much fun tonight, Thank and you, you know, resume your diaper duties uh, at midnight. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay.